Thank you, Kyle. You do an awesome job. It's nice being called boss. My goodness, that's <laughs> quite something. This is phenomenal. I can't, uh, could never have imagined a year and a half ago uh, or so when I took office that I would be standing here at such an occasion. Uh, when I ran for Congress, I promised that I would make 25 friends. I can tell you, I think I blew past that number after about the second uh, week I was there just working with veterans. Uh, you know, the, the issues that we're involved in here today, finding jobs and helping veterans find jobs in this community and this state, is so critical to the future of our nation, the future of our military. I had an opportunity to travel to the Middle East three times and visit our troops and visit our our allies and partners in the area. And the work that is being done there and has been done over the years is absolutely exceptional. Absolutely exceptional. And anybody that says to us as Americans that we are not a great country need to have their heads examined because we really are. And we are a great country in many respects because of those of you who have served, those of you who are working with veterans every single day and those who are in theater today defending our country and keeping us safe. Uh, so the, two, uh, the two areas of, uh, that I've been most uh, focused on uh, have been, number one, health care for veterans, and number two, connecting jobs and veterans. And on both fronts, I, I think we're making some progress. Uh, the Veterans Health Care Center over on 42nd Street is moving to a place where we can start raising the money and building the building. And I want to thank my colleagues in our delegation, uh, most particularly uh, Jeff Fisher, Senator Fisher has introduced the Senate bill, and uh, Jeff Fortenberry and Adrian Smith who are co-sponsors with me and Dave Young from Iowa and Tim Walls from Minnesota who are introduced, have introduced the bill in the House and Van Sass as well who has introduced uh, the Senate bill. Because we're working as a bipartisan, nonpartisan team to create a center of excellence for health care in this community and in this state and in Western Iowa. It's never been done before. It's never been done to have a private public partnership for health care for veterans. And we're almost there. And it's for you that we're doing it. It's for, and, it and it's interesting, when the Secretary of, of the VA ha has, has mentioned to me and met with me and met with our delegation and will be here on the 4th uh, for the uh, dedication of the cemetery on the 5th, and he's coming here, obviously, to dedicate this wonderful cemetery space. But at the same time, he's coming here to celebrate our community and our state. Because it's Omaha, it's our area that he has designated as the first healthcare center of excellence in the country. And that's, that's an amazing thing. And, and, and uh, all of those who work in the Veterans Administration, all of those who work with the Veterans Administration must be commended for that because it's a great honor for all of us to have the Secretary come and re-emphasize re that we are a center of excellence in this community for veterans and all of the community-based groups that work with veterans alongside our Veterans Administration. And the second area of, of, that we've been working on is connecting veterans with jobs. You know, it, to me, I, I, I got into the, I, I was in the unicameral legislature for a number of years, you know, and things go very quick in the, in the life in our unicameral nonpartisan legislature. They go a little slower in the Congress, I found out. <laughs> sort of a surprise. But the, uh, so we got to kind of nudge them along. But when I got to the, to the house and I started visiting employers and visiting with veterans, and I, it was, it was, I found out that you know, you've know you been in the military, you've, you've, you've developed a skill, you've led troops, you're a leader. And you get out of the military and you have to wait to, to get certified to get the next job. That's nuts. <laughs> That's nuts. That's nuts. We have to have a standard system of certification so that when, when it member of our military leaves and they leave the force and they come back into the community, the job that they want should be there and the cert certifications they need need to be there. And we're working diligently in the Congress to make sure that happens. But at the end of the day, this is, and it doesn't get any better, I've been in public life for 30 years. 
It doesn't get any better for me than to be here with all of you. It's a great honor to serve the veterans. It's a great honor to be a member of the House Armed Services Committee. It's a great honor to have been with our troops. It's a great honor to be able to go out to Stratcom and to be able to go to Offutt and work with the 55th and spend time with the 55th at Melbourne Hall. It's just incredible the work they do. So thank you all for being here. Thanks to all the veterans. Thanks for all who have served in our survey. Have a great day. Give them a round of applause for the Conte. So, as I stated earlier, uh, we will have some workshop going on in that far room in the corner. Um, there's one about to start right now at 1 o'clock. Uh, that will be the Small Business Administration. Uh, they will help be helping out small business owners trying to expand their business or people who just start a business of themselves. Uh, so, please go over there, see what they have, they have a lot of great things. And Keep on enjoying your day. Thank you.